Hi, and welcome to Carolyn's Cozy Kitchen. Wanted to bring you in today on a Sunday afternoon. Just came home, I made stir fry um, in my pot here, but I wanted to make some mahi-mahi because at the market today there were some fresh mahi-mahi that um, fish is always a good alternative for um, your meals. So I wanted to show you how I do it. I have four really nice pieces of mahi-mahi that I have marinated in olive oil and our sweet basil rub. And in Hawaii, we call it Chinese parsley. I guess you folks call it cilantro if you're not from Hawaii. But have fresh cilantro from my garden and I have some lime that I'm gonna use my lime press. This is a really great tool for you to use when you don't have um, citrus products all throughout the year. And we'll show it on a different show that um, if you use your citrus press and make um, ice cubes out of limes, lemons, any kind of citrus fruit you have, this is a great tool. And I'd recommend always having one in your kitchen. So here are my marinated mahi-mahi pieces. And this is in my small baker. These stones actually um, are not to be used in the dishwasher, which is one of the very few tools that cannot be put in the dishwasher. But it is really easy to clean, so it doesn't cause any barriers as far as keeping your kitchen clean either. So, I have my marinated mahi-mahi. I'm going to use my citrus press, and it's really easy to use. You just cut lemons, limes, whatever that you have. I'm using limes for this dish, and you just easily just squirt it over the fish. Um, like I said, it's really easy to use. It's not difficult at all, and I would recommend that if you have the opportunity to freeze things like this, then all through the winter months and at any time during the year, you can use them for cooking, for drinks, for anything like that. So it's always a good option. And then, so after you have drizzled it with your lime and you just sprinkle it over with Chinese parsley, and I'd recommend that you put some of the Chinese parsley or the cilantro on the side so that after it's baked, you can have a fresh look to it as well. And of course, I always use my chef, chef's knife. This is an awesome tool that I use all the time. So what I do is I put my mahi-mahi in my small baker. I put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. And if you have a larger group of people that you want to serve, they do have the large bakers, and those I also use for things like lasagna. So this is a very versatile tool, and it's actually cute. I, have, I like it because it looks good in my kitchen, and it's easy to use. You can bake and serve in it. And people will be amazed at one, how good your food tastes, how easy it is to prepare, and you'll have the opportunity to do what is most important to me, and that is spend some time with the people that you love most. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes, and we'll see you when we get back at Carolyn's Cozy Kitchen. mahi-mahi. This is going to be something that's super tasty for your family, something that's healthy, quick, so you can do it at any point. So as long as you have even fish in the freezer, you're, um, you're pretty well good to go. So like I said, there is Chinese parsley on the top. If you just sprinkle a little bit on after so that it, you know, gives a little fresher look to it. But also, as you might have noticed, 
I went ahead and I used my citrus press, made lime ice cubes. That's always a good idea. It takes up time um, during your preparation and it's, it's a good healthy alternative to put in your drinks and your food and you always have it on hand. So Pampered Chef products make my life easier and I'm here to help you make your life easier. So we thank you for coming to Carolyn's Cozy Kitchen, ask you to come back again and to like and subscribe and put on post notifications so that you can see our next fun show. Thanks for coming. Aloha.